to a 72 year old still winning races, that is something I am trying to figure out. That race car makes me tick. When that motor starts, I get goosebumps to this day after doing this since 1974 and I raced back in high school. And despite more than 45 years behind the wheel of a funny car, none of the passion is gone. No one can argue with a track record that has immortalized him as the G-O-A-T, or greatest of all time. Don't let the old man in. And, well, he's knocking at the door, but I ain't letting him in this body. Winning, that's what makes me tick. I'm not gonna have any more kids. You know what I'm saying, I'm too old. And, uh, and I'm going to win more races, and, and, and I'm going to fight to win championships. I won 16 championships. Nobody's ever done that in any sport. Yes, 16 world championships, including a record-breaking 10 in a row. To put that into perspective, Tom Brady, widely considered the greatest NFL quarterback of all time, has only won a record seven Super Bowls. Kelly Slater, the star child of professional surfing, and a seemingly ageless competitive marvel, has been crowned a WSL World Surfing Champion 11 times, but has lost steam at the tender age of 49. Tiger Woods has won 16 major championships. However, there are four chances to win one every year in professional golf. What about Michael Jordan? Well, sorry, only six NBA championships. The great Pele, well, only three World Cup victories. And Yogi Berra, he comes perhaps the closest, with 13 World Series rings, but that's in the team sport of baseball. Perhaps the most outrageous comparison of John Force's 16 world titles is that they match the same number of New York Yankees World Series championships since 1949, the same year that John Force was born. I won in 90, I won in 91, the championship. Then I came back, raced, took me out in 92 because we lost focus. We'd won a couple championships and we thought we're great. But that got my mind right. This is not the top of my career. It's just starting. And we came back and we won 10 straight. John Forrest has won yet another one. He is probably one of the brightest men this sport has ever seen. The man is a wizard, not only behind the wheel, but also his crew. But John Forrest takes the win. I got the 150 win at Seattle. Then I came in one Indy a few weeks later, 151, but we came back this year. Uh, I won in uh, Epping, I won the four wide at Charlotte. I'm right back winning like I always did. With a dominant history-making performance in 2021, John finished the season among the top five for the second time in the last three years, proving yet again there's still nitro fuel in the 72-year-old's tank. So these cars, like I said, are so powerful. It is similar to a controlled explosion trying to get it going down the racetrack. So we're talking a thousand foot drag strip, side by side drag racing. It's 330 miles per hour in less than four seconds. The fuel we put in is nitromethane, which carries most of its oxygen within the fuel. So you don't even need outside air to fuel. It makes tons of power. You can put a lot of it in it, goes through 15 gallons of run. Depending on the race and the weather conditions, we're talking about 10 to 11,000 horsepower. It's six, five to six Gs um, within the first second on the run. I would compare it with being shot out of a cannon. But let me tell you, it's the greatest high there is. John Force 054 reaction time and it's the finish line stripe. It's John Force for the 153rd time in his career. The danger in this sport is it's a high probability. These cars are fast and they're dangerous if something goes wrong. If you have accidents or parts failures, it explodes. If you shut it off too early, it explodes. It's you, you don't want to come into nitro racing without a clue on safety of it, because you can hurt anybody around it, and it has in the past. John is no stranger to the risk drag racers take when the light turns green, as a routine race in 2007 proved, as it nearly cost him not only his career, but his life. Oh, 
Well, John was a little late. And John oh, goes. Oh, oh. Great crash. John has a problem with his car. He comes across. He hits Bernstein. Both cars continue on. So when that motor explodes in your face, shrapnel, a grenade went off. And you're trying to survive. You got all the right equipment, Simpson gear, helmets, all this stuff. You're trying to survive. We got into each other. We got into each other, ripped our cars apart, sent me upside down, blew the engine, exploded. The body blew off the thing. I was just hands out, trying to stay stabilized. But then I got knocked out, so you can't even protect yourself. At Dallas, <clears throat> When, when they, they, they had to cut the roll cage off the car to get me out of the car, they got me on a stretcher, and that's when I saw the bone sticking out of my leg and bones out of my wrist, and my ankle was busted. I, I was junk. When you're laying in that hospital bed and you're not anybody's hero anymore because they look at you like you're done, there's one person standing there, and that's Lori. My wife stood by me through all that. The, the doctors told me there, you're finished. Like, you'd be lucky if you can walk. You'll never drive a race car again, so quit thinking about championships, and let's get you where you can at least walk on a walker. And uh, I lived it, though. Seven days a week, I went into training. I was down there in a the gym in the middle of the night. People thought I was nuts, because I was going to come back and win. motivated he was to get back in the car and watching him tell the doctor that's what I love that's what I'm gonna do and watching him come back from that is the biggest lesson I've ever learned from him. The lesson is fight for what you want. And Brittany would surely know as she's followed in her father's footsteps winning her own world championship in 2017 and still fighting for more titles today. My dad is he there's no one like him. He is one of a kind, he is a character. His passion, his drive for the sport is just everything. And he has 16 championships. He's done so much for the sport of NHRA drag racing. It is unreal. At the end of the day, I, I just, uh, I'm nothing special. I'm just an old truck driver that lived it. You know what I mean? I had plenty of losing in high school football, and I've had plenty of winning over here. And like I said, it ain't over till I say it's over, and I'm sticking to that.